Hello! So, this, so I'm going to be showing you real quick just the basic how to put one of these uh, tourbillon watch escapements together. But I've really been wanting to uh, kind of experiment with filming from multiple different angles. But I don't actually have three separate cameras. So I am going to be filming this three separate times. So, so that's going to be fun. fun. Let's not waste any more time and actually just get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to start with doing is assembling the balance. So you're going to want to grab the hairspring. Now the hairspring goes on this axle and this little loop right here has to slide over the pin in the middle of this piece. So that's looking good. The next pieces that we're going to want to assemble is the rest of the balance which consists of pin this guy balance wheel and uh, their bridge block together to make one solid piece that will then go on top of the spring there this little block piece goes in the hexagon hole in the pin right there just like that then you're going to want to take the balance wheel and put that on top it should rest flat on the face of the flywheel with no gap. Then you're going to want to make sure that all of the parts are still free spinning and this guy is not actually even going on anymore. Once you get it spinning nice and smoothly, you're then going to flip it around and then put the pin and balance spring together and it should oscillate back and forth nicely. And that is good for now. You're going to want to actually temporarily disassemble it and then you're going to start fitting the fork. So the fork goes in this center hole right there and you're just going to want to make sure that it's all nice and clean and that any elephant's foot on uh, it has been scraped away or preferably just not there to begin with. And that goes in And it should be pretty free spinning, able to flop around in both of them just right, right off the bat. Check to make sure that you'll be able to take the frame apart once you put it together. Because the next step is to test the fork with the two frame pieces on. What you're looking for on the fork with the two halves together is that it can fall from side to side. It doesn't necessarily need to be falling freely from side to side. Just falling from side to side with the lightest little tap. So once you have the fork uh, moving how you want it to, you're going to move on to fitting the escapement wheel. Now the escapement wheel, you want it to be free spinning but not loose at all. If it's able to twist in its uh, on its axles, that will cause quite a bit of issue, quite a lot of issues down the line. The escapement wheel goes on this axle and slots into that pin right there. So once you have your escapement wheel relatively free spinning in both of his uh, things and together, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place the fork in on the bottom then the escapement wheel then the remainder of the balance push that down into place put the top on give it a test now there are a few more things that we need to finish before we actually assemble the frame and put every and put everything together. That first thing is actually a tool that I forgot to mention that you'd need. You're going to need a way to melt the little pin that the spring rests on. My preferred method of melting it is just with a little blowtorch and this uh, metal rod that I have. You're just going to heat up, heat up the very top of the pin that sticks out, kind of fuse the plastics together, and then take another object and kind of squish it down. 
it is very important to actually squish it because squishing it will slightly pull up on the spring, making it so that it remains level. Now we can move on to assembling the frame of the tourbillon and getting this escapement inside. This piece right here, which is the gear frame and the, uh, the, ratcheting drum, the ratcheting case for the spring. And what you're gonna wanna do is on the flat side of the uh, ratcheting case, you're gonna wanna stick the gear frame right on there, just like so. Then you're going to be fitting this piece. Now what this piece does is it actually bridges the connection between the escapement and the spring. So the end that, so the longer end of it goes through this center hole right there. And you want this whole assembly to be free spinning as well. Just like that. Just file out the inside there and get this guy fitted, fitting. Then you're gonna wanna attach the larger of the two hexagons to the escapement. Now you're gonna pop the escapement into the frame by having the hairspring go underneath the gear frame and that bottom little pin thing that we just put on go through the hole in the ratchet case. Then you're going to put in the hair, put in the winding spring, line up the two hexagons on it, click them together, and it should be holding itself together. Now. It's just not very stable. So that is why I have this top frame piece, which has a center pin in it, to help keep the rest of, to help keep the tourbillon in line. There we are. Make sure everything is lining up the way we want it to. Next, we're gonna fit on the back plate, side with the little nubs down, or towards the spring, rather, because you're gonna be putting this on upside down, technically. Then we're gonna be putting on the final back plate, like so. And now we can pop all of the clips into place, wind it up, and there you go. You should have a functioning tourbillon. Oh, I completely forgot to, uh, to melt the spring in place on this guy. That's a... Uh, that's going to be an issue at some point. Yeah, that ain't good. So for now, that's really all there is to making one of these and getting it put together. Um, if you're looking for a more detailed tutorial, I have a link to one of those in the description down below. I also have a tutorial where I teach you how to make some parts and how to uh, basically make it so that you can just insert one of these into your own design and use it to make whatever sort of clocks you want to make. If you're having difficulty getting all the parts to actually print, um, I also have a tutorial on that down in the description. Um, but for now, yeah, I need to go in and I'm gonna need to go in and put that spring in because it's it's messing it up. It's riding around. Yep. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this has uh, taught you how to do it even if I haven't gotten this one running perfectly. But I did get the others, like here, look.